previously on New Zealand's Next Top Model, 13 girls settled into their luxury flip top pad. Christchurch, mother of one and reformed drug addict Sarah, blew everyone away with her potential. Everything that you hit was perfect. And after a smashing grab at the Max Challenge... I absolutely love what you've chosen, thank you. ...which left fashion store manager Lucy bitter about the verdict. I layered and accessorised and I felt pretty ripped off. Mother of two, Terrell Lee, was a high flyer again at the photo shoot. Beautiful. The camera loves her. Whilst volunteer firefighter Tiffany crashed and burned. Jean Batten wasn't a sex kitten, OK? And was the first girl sent home. Twelve girls remain. Who will be eliminated tonight? about the eliminations yesterday. Yeah, just after talking to the judges and seeing my photo, I was just like, that's it, I'm out of here kind of thing. When I was at the elimination, I honestly really did think that I was going home. I did feel like I had the worst comments. It doesn't look like a fashion photo. It's a CD cover, it's Kylie Minogue, 1980s. I reckon we've really got to up our act now. It's like, all the talk we got last night and everything. It's true, man, it's getting quite tough. And I think now I've just got to realise that it is a competition and they've got to be harsh because there can only be one winner. Yesterday at the eliminations, I, I don't really know what happened. It was... I was a bit of a mess. <laughs> Why were you so upset afterwards? I don't know, it was just everything. It was my awful photo, it was Tiffany going. I was really cut up about my picture. Just got to watch that your neck doesn't work too hard. My posing was great. I just didn't think it was a very good angle of my face. Sorry, but in my opinion, I don't think she was a very good photographer. And I felt like I had no direction, and I was like, just didn't really know what to do. Yeah. It wasn't a very good picture at all. <laughs> it was horrible, and there must have been better pictures. Last week you took to the skies. Let's see how well you manage at street level. Love, Sarah. Oh. The good thing about living in this house is the people. There is pressure from being homesick and just from the competition itself, but it's awesome. We're all giggling and laughing. <laughs> and, um, in the beginning, I think Hosanna was misunderstood because Tara Lee was stirring the pot. Have I done something to upset anyone? So instead of like catwalking everywhere, you should have gone out of your way to make friends. Hosanna's really funny and I don't know why. All that drama happened in the beginning. I don't really have much time for Terrelly. I actually told Hosanna last night that I would have seriously been saddened if she had been eliminated. Sometimes she's a bit weird, but she's here for the right reasons, and I know she wants it as much as I do, so I would have truly felt sad for her if she was eliminated. Driving to the lesson, I mean, we had absolutely no idea what was in store for us. And then we arrived at this crazy looking building. What have we got ourselves into? Hi, ladies. Hi. As a catwalk model, you are the designer's muse. And they have very strong ideas about how you move and your attitude. Hip hop is all about attitude. And right here today to teach you how to bust the move on the dance floor is Tui Manuel from Urban Beat. Lesson was so hard. And we go one and two. Okay. Yeah, we'll try again. 
So we go five, six, seven, and we go one and two. I probably look really stupid, Hit. like, oh my goodness. I'm just a little bit uncoordinated sometimes. Yeah. The funniest bit about it is that all of us girls are so lanky and all our arms moving around. One and two and three and four. So funny. <laughs> so I was just like... <laughs> The lesson was so fascinatingly entertaining for me. It was like when you pull spaghetti out of a packet and drop it on a plate. <laughs> I just want to get it. I'll feel good once I've got it. You want to come straight to the front and head straight into there. I really liked the hip hop lesson. I felt totally unco and a bit stupid, but it was fun. I think we probably would have been more suited to a Madonna video clip. So you're gonna go six. Swing your butt to the front. I know it's hard if you don't have much butt. Yeah. I've never been able to dance. If I've had a couple of drinks, I think I can dance, but I don't think I actually can. I really loved Rhiannon and Laura. They really showed what they had, getting the moves, and I'm like, wow, now that's a winner. Okay, good, very nice. I thought Audrey would do better. Audrey knows how to move her ass really, so I kind of thought that she'd ace it. Practice! I think for me, the letdown of the day was Sarah. Five and six, seven, eight. Are you really committed to this? You've got to give a lot more. Sarah asked if she could use the toilet, and then she never came back. I don't know what happened. Talk to me. Why are you not out there? know that I'm not going to be able to get it and so what's the point of going out and making a difference well, myself when there's no point? The most important thing with this lesson is that it's here for an obvious reason and you've got to learn at least a couple of things for something that might be happening in your modelling career. So just pick up a couple of moves. No. I didn't really mind that Sarah didn't have the ambition because it made me look better. <laughs> I mean, nobody would be picking on me for my bad hip hop when she wasn't even attempting to do it. See, this is where I can't understand you. You've done the most amazing things in life to get to this point clean, and now you're letting a few little steps mess with you? Are you crazy? Come on, let's go. She just thought, I don't want to do this, and that's not a winning attitude. That could kill her in this competition. Definitely something to do with our dancing yesterday, it would have yeah. to be. Yeah. Yay, shout out to the girls. Girls! Anyway, what's going on with Sarah? Yeah. I think all the other girls are pissed off about Sarah leaving. They have upset. Because they kind of feel like she's wasted everyone's time. Know that I'm not gonna be able to get it, and so what's the point of going out and making a dish with myself? Maybe she was thinking, Yeah, why am I doing the dancing? And this is not a motto, but if you're a motto, you have to do anything. So, are you gonna do the challenge today, Sarah? Probably not. I think she could have at least come back and sat and watched us and supported us, but she didn't even want to do that. Hi, ladies. So you had a hip-hop lesson, and you're about to find out the reason why. This is a fashion show challenge, and you will walk to the end of that runway and strike a hip-hop-inspired pose. And to help me judge this challenge, I've invited a very special guest. She makes me look like a little piece of dry toast. You met her in Queenstown. She is Angela Dunn. <laughs> The winner of today's challenge will receive a flight for two to a destination of your choice within New Zealand on Pacific Blue. <laughs> it's good. Are you ready to bring it? Yes! Then let's see what you've got. Go get ready, ladies. The runway challenge was heaps of fun. Amazing hair and makeup and clothes. This is more of an 80s take on hip hop. The makeup artist was like, someone needs to rock the patch. I was like, I'll do it. Me. One time. Yeah, yeah, uh huh. Do we gotta stay in the game? Ain't nothing gonna change. What we got is locked down. We won the game, that's right. Even wanna get on down and get. It was pretty scary.
scary at first having to think about poses to do, but I thought I did some okay poses. In the end, it was really fun. The girls today had a brief, and that was that they must hit two hip hop style poses at the end of the runway. But what actually happened was they just got so enthusiastic about what was going on, it went out the window, and then all of a sudden they just wanted to dance, perform, show off. They were throwing themselves around like they were at a sale at Save Mart. It was just wrong. When I found out today that we were going to do catwalk, I was so excited. I've been wanting to show Colin how I've worked on my catwalking and how I've gotten better. Tara Lee followed the brief at the end. She gave the gestures of hip-hop, and, and it looked good. Aju just hit the most hoochy face. I thought, what the hell is that? And then the movement? What's happening there? What are you squatting for? I mean, you have to ask yourself those questions. When I was on the runway, it was really cool. It was lots of fun. I don't know why I'm good some days and not others. Maybe I'm bipolar. I had like all these things in my head that I was going to do and then I got to the end and I was like, and forgot what else I was going to do. And just sort of, I don't know, lost, lost focus, but it was really fun. I thought Hosanna was attempting a Victoria's Secret fashion show, you know, mm, mm, pointing to invisible people. Can't take a photo of that. Well, ladies, that was absolutely amazing. It was incredible, and you had such a good time doing it, didn't you? It really showed you really got into it and played the role and had a great time. Now, this was a fashion hip-hop interpretation, and that's where some of you failed. What you actually did was you overdanced. So I'd like to say that Ruby singing the song doesn't work. I don't actually remember doing that, but um, yeah, that was unfortunate. And Olivia, you were flat. You were probably the flattest of the bunch. I was gutted. I feel like I've done crap in everything. It's very important to get the balance of fashion with the challenge that you were given, so that's really how we made our decision. So the three girls that particularly did well in our eyes yes. are Christabel. <laughs> you had amazing presence, and what we really loved was the shape that you held at the end. It was well worth the photograph. Sarah. We really loved your focus and your finish. And you held it really well just for a couple of seconds, very strong. I don't know if the girls would be upset about me getting in the top three without doing the hip hop lesson. Um, I think they might be frustrated. Tara Lee. <laughs> you took the interpretation of what we wanted. You hit two poses, subtle but strong, and each would make a sellable photograph. And the winner is... Tara Lee, congratulations. You won the challenge today, well done. I feel really happy that I won, and I'm happy that I get to have a flight around New Zealand and take someone with me. I just find it odd that Tara Lee's won twice in a row, when personally I think other people have done better, so. Aju and Tara Lee this morning had a bit of a misunderstanding. Tara Lee was having a shower. We have to shower for five minutes because we share the bathroom. Five of us have to use the bathroom. It's not even I saw you used the bathroom this morning. Down the stairs. And it was five minutes. When she opened the door, I was just joking. I was not even angry. And she was really upset. And I, I was like, oh, my God. I just can't even believe she did that. What are you going to do about it? I saw her as a friend and it really hurt my feelings. Because I have to look my best five minutes is not long enough for me in the shower. If you're going to get sent home if you shower for five minutes every day. So do you want to fight? Are you serious? Why are you angry? Is it because I'm black or something? I don't get why people treat me differently and that's why I was 
saying to myself, is it because I'm African or something? I'm a New Zealander, you know? I'm, I'm a New Zealand citizen. I'm leaving, I'm going home, I'm sick of this. She's saying that everyone's racist, but the only people who are making racist comments is herself. You're here because you're beautiful, not because any racism. This is a bad feeling. I feel so bad to be here. Ashley's definitely got the wrong end of the stick. Uh, there's no racism. You've got to believe that no one here thinks any different of you because you're black. No! I want to go home. I'm going home. I'm serious. I'm, I'm going to say this is Sarah, whatever, whoever is here for her. But no one's being racist about you. I know, I don't care. I was just knocking the bathroom so I can go and brush my teeth. Some people take one route and they'd be real nice and are genuinely nice, and other people decide to be vicious and cause drama, and she's one of those people. She's like the negative person in this whole house. Surround yourself with positive people. I talked badly today, but it's because I was really, really upset. You are not going anywhere. You've got a pretty good chance in this competition, and that's what... Maybe she's scared about that, I don't know. I didn't come here to make enemies. I came here to compete. It's a competition. I'm sure I, I got experience. I got whatever it takes to be a New Zealand next star model, unless I can try, try, try and see. I haven't got a problem with Ajwa. If she still has a problem, that's her problem. We're here for the judges, and yeah, you need to get along with the girls, but I'm not going to be a doormat just so everyone else can feel better about themselves. Maybe not. Love, oh. Sarah. Ooh. Maybe not. Maybe, Maybe it'll be cold. Oh, oh my gosh. I think we have some pondering to do. We do. We have some <laughs> pondering to do. Let me ponder this. <laughs> <laughs> When we pulled up to Snow Planet, we're like, come on, girls, let's go. Yee come on in, girls. How are you doing? Hi. Welcome to Snow Planet. This is New Zealand's only indoor ski resort. Arjo, what are you doing? Jandal. Oh. <laughs> Must be cold. <laughs> today is going to be a tough day. We're going to test your ability and your stamina. Working with us today is Craig Owen, one of Australasia's best fashion photographers. Today we're going to treat the snow planet as a studio. It's up to you on how you want to interpret it. I'll try and capture your personality and make some great photos. All right, girls, let's go. Woo! Getting to do shirts is like the funnest part because you get all dressed up and you get your hair and makeup done and everyone just looks completely different to what they normally do. Yeah. I hear that you guys are given a whole lot of cover girl makeup. Yeah, I really like the um, lip gloss and the mascara. You've done this before, haven't you? So cold in the snow. I was wearing open toe stilettos. How are your feet, Rebecca? Fine. Are you telling the truth? No. <laughs> it's hard enough to pose normally, but and just pose in snow and sliding around, it's really hard. This happens all the time. You get thrown in cold environments. You've really got to work with it. Be professional. Just be a little bit more subtle, because you've got very strong makeup on, so you don't have to overdo it. That was really good. I think I have a natural ability to pose well. Yeah, it looks amazing. Just keep doing that. I really want to impress Craig. I definitely gave it my best, because I deserve for it to be good. <laughs> yes, Laura's been amazing photographically, so hopefully she'll be amazing today. So where'd they find you? All the best come from Wellington, eh, Laura? Now I went out in the snow. It was so cold. That's nice. Stay there. I had snow being thrown over me. At one point, it got into my poncho, and I was like, oh. More snow. But it didn't really throw me off that much. She doesn't want to stop this one. She's a little live wire. Laura was fantastic. I thought she really worked her props. She worked her clothing. She kept it long and tall. Really exaggerate her long legs. She tried different poses, and she looked great. That's awesome. I've, I've got heaps and heaps of good ones. The last shoot didn't go so well for you, but the first shoot went amazingly. Really? Yeah, it did. Victoria kind of struggled a bit to begin with. She looked really quite nervous. Just start just letting your own personality come through a little bit and then just start working it a bit more if you want to. Right. But I thought as she warmed up, she looked good. Lovely, that's nice. Good girl. I think I went quite good. Awesome. I'm really hoping that I did. You want to go one-legged? Yep. Oh, they're all good like this, Chris. You're making it too easy for me. 
I thought she did well. Victoria, I think you're doing great. You're looking really hot. I'm really hoping today I prove that I'm really into this and I really, really want to win this competition. At Snow Planet, I was a bit sick. I had a bit of a headache. You feel sick? Yeah. So you can't come in? No. When I spoke to Sarah on the bus, I asked her if she wanted to come in. She said no. I asked her if she wanted some Panadol. She said no. I don't want to be a model. So you're just going to give up? Are you not going to come in? That wouldn't be giving up. If it was me who had a headache, I would be saying, give me Panadol, give me Nurofen, give me anything I can to get out there. Is she not doing it? She's got a headache and she's not giving up, but she's not coming inside. She's only listing her chances, in my opinion anyway. I think this week I'm going to have to up my game with my photos. You're going to do great, aren't you? Yes, I'm going to try. Tough chick. Not sure about that shot. My photos have just been real blah. My face has been crap. What do you reckon we try sitting down? Relax a little bit. Olivia, I thought was flat. Didn't deliver. Limited moves. Just looked awkward. Don't ham it up too much. Just subtle. Cute. So Lucy, you look like you've got a pretty hot outfit on. Yeah. When I walked out onto the snow, I was feeling quite nervous to start with, just because I didn't feel like my last photo shoot was very good. Strong, really strong, tough. Wonder Woman, eh, Chris? Wonder Woman. Just wanted to be confident in front of Chris and show him that I've been practicing. Oh, got it. Lucy did a really good job. She tried really hard. That's it, good girl. She worked on one pose really well and nailed that one. How would you compare her to the girl before, Olivia, her sister? But I wouldn't have picked our sisters. Have you never been in the snow before? No, it's going to be my first time. I've only been to ice skating and it wasn't that cold. <laughs> I was scared to be there and I can't even feel my feet and my body and I'm like, feel like I'm going to die or something. We don't have snow in Africa. Every, every shot, try and think of something a little bit different to do. She was really struggling in there. and She was cold and uncomfortable, and, yeah, just, it didn't go well for her. Ajo, you've got to loosen up a bit more and get into it, because at the moment, you're just kind of giving us the same thing. I can't even move the photographer telling me what to do. I can't even listen, and I was crying. I find it really, really hard. See, that's the emotion that we want. I feel like I'm going to be eliminated because I didn't do really well in my photo shoot. I won't put you through any more torture, so thank you. I'm really, really scared right now. Look at your legs, long. Standing long and straight, elbows out more. <laughs> I'm going to start laughing when, when they were throwing the snow. It was like they were deliberately throwing snow at me, and I was just like, what the heck are you doing, man? Would you like some ski poles? Sure. <laughs> so have you been practicing in the mirror of what your face has been doing? Yes, I have been. That's it. That's it. Lovely. Good girl. What are you going to do today that was better than last week? Relax. Good. That's good. Good idea. Don't overdo it to start with. Just do really simple. Last week when I was in the bottom two, I did think that I was going home. This week, I mean, I really have to step it up. Chin down, chin down. Hosanna. She started out doing a big thing again. The big, everything's overposed. No, don't do that. I don't like that. <laughs> she simplified it after Craig talked to her. Just really simple and straight. And she looked great. She started to look like a model. Good work. I think the fact that Sarah's just sitting there and not even participating is just like, she's just missing out. I mean, we've got the best makeup artist, the best hairstylist, the best photographer. It's like, why would you want to, if you're here today, why would you not want to be part of that? I just don't understand. It's such a waste of space, you know? Someone else from Queenstown could have, you know, been sitting in her place. Craig, this is Terrell Lee. Don't kill yourself by slipping. I've been in snow once when I was really, really young and it was freezing. That's nice, I like that. You don't have to do much, your face does it all for you. People were actually throwing ice at me and I wasn't too happy about that. Just slouch, bored. You don't want to be here. You really do want to be here, Terrell Lee, though, don't you? It was really hard and I pushed right on through. And in my heart of hearts and in my gut, I know for a fact that I did excellent. Hey, so Ruby, we loved your last shoot, remember? So pull another one of those out of the bag in two minutes. Two minutes. Is it real? Go for it. Show us all your moves. I think Ruby's definitely got something. I think she's got an incredible face. Chin down, chin down. 
today she didn't she didn't nail it at all. There's some really simple just just standing there, okay? Oh, is that kind of short and sweet? Kind of, yes. Yeah. I don't know. Just getting into your groove, weren't you? Blow us away. Again. Just start off really easy, simple. Good girl. Crystal just stood out. Watch your face when you're doing that though, because you're overdoing it. Change your hands now. That's it, good girl. She just had the whole package, basically. And that's nice, good girl. And she was just quite natural. Awesome. Yeah, I'd really like to shoot her again. Shoot. Now someone's really about to get frozen out. Only 11 will go on in the hope of becoming New Zealand's <laughs> next top model. Love, Love Sarah. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Elimination. Elimination time. I hope that Sarah not participating is recognised when we go to the judging panel. Like I'm sure it will be, but I hope that they take into account the fact that she didn't do the hip hop dance and she's just sat there today and not even bothered getting ready. A lot of people will perceive it as me quitting, and that's their opinion. It's just the homesickness, I think. Hi, Mum, it's Sarah. Hello, darling. Is Libby there? I am missing my daughter like crazy. I think the judges will understand that as well. Hi, baby. What are you doing? Hi. Is that right? She's apparently taken her first steps, and unfortunately I missed out on that. Well, I've heard her saying she wants to go home this whole time because she misses her family, which is valid, but I think she's a strong girl, and I hope she stays. She's good for the competition. I have no qualms about saying this to Sarah and that I think that if she could go tonight, then she should, if she doesn't want to be here, if she's too cool to be here. Because it drags down the whole morale of the group. Like, if everyone's excited to do something and she's too cool to do it, then... Hi girls. Hi. You've had an action-packed week. A photo shoot with one of the best photographers in Australasia, Craig Owen. A hip-hop lesson and a fashion show. Who will judge you? Let me introduce you. Chris Sisarich, our resident photographer. Aphrodisiac. Colin Mathura Jeffrey, style guru. Hi girls. And joining us, one of the most successful models to have ever come from New Zealand, Angela Dunn. One of you is going home, and the rest of you will remain in the running to be the first New Zealand's next top model. And you will win an eight-page editorial with Clio magazine, a CoverGirl cosmetics contract, representation with my agency, 62 models, a trip to Sydney to meet with chic model management. Then, girls, you will go to New York. There you will meet with Next Model Management, one of the most influential agencies in the world. It's time for your individual evaluations. Hosanna. Let's have a look at your photo. You've just nailed it. It's a lot better than last week's photo. Thank you. Hosanna, I like this photo because the pose is strong and it's simple. And I thought that when you're on the runway doing your challenge, that it was too complicated. There was a bit too much going on. I think the small gestures are good. I've never seen hip hop where they're going. <laughs> <laughs> I think the photo looks great. I think you look like a model. A model in a winter wonderland. <laughs> Ruby, how do you think you went this week? I thought my photo shoot was pretty good. But I guess you can't tell until you see the photo. What do you think? Yeah, I like it. It's, it's different. I didn't think that you found your groove. You didn't find your rhythm. When I first walked down, I said, right, you've got two minutes. I just felt like everybody else had, you know, 15, 20 minutes. In that two minutes that you had, the photographer could have taken 100 frames. So in that 100 frames, there should be one good one. I had a chat to Craig Owen. He said she's got a great face. Cool, thanks. Then he said you've got the worst attitude. Two minutes. Two minutes. For real. I like your photo. I don't like your attitude. I'd love to see a change in that. Come on, Laura. Let's have a look at your photo. Okay. I see a girl next door who blossomed. I think you look great. Thank you. Yeah, I thought you were fantastic. I love the way that you work the props and the clothing. You're a star. You're going to hate me. I think the photo's a bit meh. 
You just seem a bit mean in the face there. But I think you can do better than that. Yeah, I think so too. You're standing like a model, you're dressing like a model. I'm really pleased to see you growing. Thank you. Rebecca Rose. Let's see how your photo looks. Do you like it? Yeah. I love it. I think it's a great photo. Craig Owen said you moved amazingly. I'm so happy. Thank you. And you've got a great face for makeup. I think your makeup and your face looks really pretty. Last week I told you I was concerned about your proportions and that I felt you had to make up for it in the way that you moved. You nailed it. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> Come on, Lucy. Let's have a look at your photo. Do you like it? I don't know. I don't dislike it, but maybe don't love it. I think you're a little lost in there. It's like Lucy in a snow globe and they've gone... Doo -doo 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 -doo, you know? Yeah. Now, as for you and hip-hop, I would have to say you really impressed me. Tui Manuel thought you were the best. Really? She loved you. Awesome. I thought the outfit was hot and I love the way that you've really used your body and created some shape. I'd still like to see more personality come through in the pictures. I have been trying, I definitely have been practicing. It's a million times better than last week and the week before. Awesome, thank you so much. Thanks Lucy. Victoria. Let's have a look. I really like it. I like the movement, so... Victorious Victoria! I love it! You're lucky because you're a bit of a ballerina, aren't you? I used to be, yeah. Yeah, so you're hitting a shape, and I, and I like it. I think you've got a great face. I think your angles are good, I don't think they're amazing, because I still think you're putting a bit too much effort in now. To begin with, I was really unsure what you were going to do because you were really nervous, and that was showing through, and I thought, oh, this is going to be a bit of a disaster. But you pulled it out of the bag, the photo looks fantastic. It's probably one of my favourite pictures, actually. Well done. Thank you. Tara Lee. Hi. It's all about the recovery, it's not about the slip. Okay. Let's have a look at your photo. I think I look fat. Why do you think you look fat? I feel like maybe I could be more toned, though. Generally, when a girl says to me, I feel fat, you can see that discomfort in a photo. If you don't feel that you're toned, tone. The better you feel, the better you project. As for winning the challenge, you really understood the critique that was asked of you. The irony of that was in the hip hop, <laughs> you were terrible. I can't dance, so I can like wear the clothes, but I can't exactly do the moves. And you did it. And that was the, there, there's a lesson in that for all of you. Thank you. Thank you. Right on down, Rhiannon. Let's see how your shot came out. I look a bit cheesy. <laughs> you look very foxy, girl. <laughs> your legs look extraordinary. If I can get legs like that, riding a horse, I will go and get one tomorrow. <laughs> the, you're, you're right, the, the face is too cheesy in that picture, and I'd like to see you do some stronger faces. A bit of strength in the eyes and in, in the mouth would be really good. Oh my God, what an improvement. <laughs> You've got a lovely smile, you look warm and inviting without being sleazy. Olivia. Do you want to try that again, maybe a little bit lighter? Walk down like a model. Much better. Let's see your photo. I don't love the photo. Neither do I. The day we did the photos, you were really flat and there was just nothing happening. And it was really, it was kind of boring, to be honest. And in the runway show, you were trying to staunch us all out, which didn't really work because a model should always retain a sense of beauty. You don't strike me as a boring person. All we want to see is a bit of Olivia in a photo. Hi, Joe. Hi. How do you think you went in the hip hop? I had fun this week and one terrible day. And that was a photo shoot day. Let's have a look at your photo. Yeah, you were terrible. So you had a real opportunity to make something amazing happen, but you didn't. So it was a bit of a disaster. I know. And in the fashion show, you just pulled a face halfway down. You're an amazing runway walker and you've got an amazing body. But this <laughs> face that you pulled didn't work. Thanks. Christabel. Hi. Let's have a look at your photo. 
I don't like it. Why not? Well, the snow is on the bottom of my face, for one. That looks awful. <laughs> I see really well-placed hands, the garment looking great, and I love it. I think it's an amazing photo. It's my favourite. So Thanks. Yeah, you definitely have that natural ability in front of the camera. And I'd just love to see you push it a bit more now. Yeah. It's a dandruff commercial. Yeah. <laughs> Shake that head. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. Hate it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love your photo. And I think you seem really happy and relaxed. Dandruff. <laughs> it's just dandruff. I'm sorry. <laughs> Bad luck, Colin. It's a great photo. <laughs> thanks, Christabel. Okay, thanks so much. Sarah. I'm not looking at anything. No, I didn't do the photo shoot. I'm just very, very homesick. This is a wonderful opportunity, not only for you, but for your daughter as well. And you have the most amazing makings of a model. On the runway, you were brilliant. You were so good. You looked stunning as soon as you walked out. You looked absolutely amazing. All the things that you've battled, the A-class drugs, you've come out the other side. I think you're amazing. I think I do have good qualities as a model. There is a certain strength I use to get clean and a certain strength that you have to use here and I just guess I don't have that strength. If you're unreliable, it doesn't leave a big path forward. We see potential, we don't see it on that screen, but can we? Thank you. Right girls, one of you is going home. We've got to deliberate. Take off thanks to Pacific Blue. Answer this week's top model question at tv3.co.nz and be in to win a trip to one of four Pacific Blue destinations. 12 girls, we need 11. Hosanna. Most improved, she listened to us and she worked on what she listened to. I think everything about this photo is a massive improvement from last week and I see a glimmer of hope. She seems a lot more relaxed. Still, she's Hosanna crazy, which I love. Ruby. I think she's fun. I think she's fun. Great face. Worst attitude. Two minutes. Two minutes. The photo's not great. That day she just really didn't work. She just wasn't there. She was amazing on the airplane wing. She blew us away. She was beautiful. And this one was flat. She's got the personality. It's just that she cannot seem to bring it to a photo shoot. And that's a real worry for me because I think she's got huge potential. I love Laura. She's starting to look like a model. Mm -hmm. She was fantastic. She worked her clothing, she worked the props, she looked beautiful. Photo doesn't do it for me. She's a beautiful woman and I see a lot more. I see a better model in her than what we're seeing. Well, Rebecca Rose. She just was such a good mover. Just boom, boom, boom. She listened. Last week I told her her proportions were out. This week they're in. She's got a great face, Tara Lee. I think she's getting better by the hour, that one. She's a mother of two, you know, if she wants this for those kids, she's going to have to give us a little bit more. Well, we constantly tell her that she's got a great face, but I still love to see more personality and spunk. More spunk, please. Use what you've got, girl. Olivia. That photo looks better than when I see her hair sometimes. It's a little bit boring that day, to be honest. Didn't inspire me. She's not emanating enough sparkle to me. She has sparkles of energy when you see her behind the scenes. Can she bring that forward? I don't know. She's definitely made progress, but that's not a good photo. Victoria, she stood in the snow in those heels like a champion. I love the right hand, the left hand, the way the leg is, her hair, her neck, everything. I think she looks incredible there. She really used her clothing. She modelled her clothing. Mm -hmm. She looks great. Yeah. I love the way she applies herself. She's fierce. 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 I'm buying a horse. Rhiannon could sell a horse to any woman. She looks cute in that picture. Maybe too cute, but it's great. I love her legs. I'm not keen on her face now. Oh, I love her face there. It says beautiful 16-year-old wholesome New Zealand girl. Talk to me about Lucy. She's just a pretty girl. She really throws herself in there, though. She's ambitious. I thought she was looking way better and applied herself a lot more in this, and I'd still love to see more of her personality. I think she's got a good personality. I just think she's too commercial. She's not a fashion model. Arjo. Yeah, that photo shoot was a disaster, really, for her. The problem is, she's emotional. Can she show the emotion without becoming emotional? Yes, she can. She will. She's got loads of potential. My favourite shot of the week, Christabel. She looked great. She had not much time. She did a fantastic job. She looks like a model. Yeah, she does look like a model, though. Sarah. Where was she? She was great on the runway. She's great when she wants to be great. 
She's got a daughter who relies on her. She's epileptic. She's a reformed drug addict. And she can either look incredible or just simply fail to show up. You just can't not turn up for a shoot. You can't. Guys, she could absolutely win this. We have to have faith in that. She's definitely photogenic. Oh yeah, she looks like a model. She's got a great body. Huge potential. 50-50 chance she'll show up on the day. One of them's got a guy. I think we know what to do. Twelve girls. Only 11 of you are going to go on in the hopes of becoming New Zealand's next top model. Someone's going home. So, the first name I'm going to call after the best performance of the week is Christabel. Congratulations. The next name I'm going to call is Hosanna. Huge improvement. You look like a model tonight. You did a great job this week. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, thanks. Tara Lee. Congratulations. Lucy. You worked hard this week. Your hard work paid off. Thanks very much. Congratulations. Thank you. Victoria. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Laura. You're going from strength to strength. Thank you. Congratulations. Rebecca Rose. Thank you. Thank you. Five girls, four photos left. The next name I'm going to call is Rhiannon. Congratulations. Thank you. You're still in the running towards becoming New Zealand's next top model. Thank you. Ruby. Thank you so much. I'm so glad to be here. Pleased to have you. The name I'm going to call next is Ajo. Congratulations. You're still in the running towards becoming New Zealand's next top model. Thank you. Two girls left. One photo. Please step forward. I have one photo. The big question is, was it taken this week at Snow Planet? Or was it taken last week on the wing of a plane? You've improved greatly, Olivia. You've listened, but your shot just wasn't good enough. Sarah? When you are here, you're amazing. But how will I know if you will be here? The last girl, still in the running towards becoming New Zealand's next top model, is Olivia. Thank you so much. Congratulations. We saw huge potential in you. Everything that you used from your past that made you who you are today, we saw as a strength for you. I hope you use that strength wisely. Okay girls, you've got another week. I hope you use it well because that could be you next week. I did want to be a model. I wanted it, and I wanted it hard. I can't wait to see my daughter. It's been really hard without her, but there were so many good points as well. The girls, wow, most of the girls and the girls I've made friends with, so cool. The house is, like, amazing. But, yeah, the, the girls is what I'll miss most. If a modelling job were to come up, and I was employed, I'd be like, yay, awesome, cool. I'm not sure if New Zealand's seen the last of Sarah. Who knows what could, like, happen later on in life? I don't know. Coming up on New Zealand's Next Top Model. Your hair could look a lot better. It's time for the Top Model Makeovers. Let's go make some changes. We're going to cut your hair off. And 
someone gets the chop. I think I'll crawl into a hole and die there.